Hello my friends. Temperature control of the greenhouse is crucial and the exhaust fan plays a critical role. My present fan is manually controlled and I have failed with this a number of times with unfavorable results. Auto control with this exhaust will be a luxury and with less chances of me neglecting these duties. The control unit is based around a simple and inexpensive thermal button the same type that is used in heating and cooling systems in the plenum area. The other parts to the system are also inexpensive or repurposed at no cost at all. The thermo button itself cost me less than $10. The thermo switch that I chose is a normally open switch. That is, when it's open, the fan is not running. The switch will close or make contact when the temperature rises to 70 degrees and that's plus or minus five degrees. And then it will continue to uh, be operating until the temperature starts cooling and when it gets down to about 60 degrees, the fan will uh, shut off. The parts that you'll need for this project are the thermal switch, an electrical box with a cover plate that will uh, hold a duplex outlet. You'll need the duplex outlet, a power cord, uh, terminals that will connect to the thermal switch, and you'll need a clamp connector that will secure the power cord into the electrical box. Here I'm soldering the terminals onto the power cord. This box has two different size holes. I'm going to place this thermal button in the larger hole. So we're going to remove this piece right here. Right there. This will be mounted on the inside. <clears throat> button sticking outward. And we need to get a couple holes marked. Drill those holes for the mounting. I'm securing the thermo switch to this metal box with screws. This box will operate as a heat sink for the thermo switch. Here's a close up view of how I mounted the thermo switch into the box. Okay, now we're going to bring the electrical wire into there. wire we already have the fittings connected secured <clears throat> the hot wire that comes in which is the black that will go on to one of the terminals. Locked in. The second terminal which is connected to the hot side. Goes to that one. Ground wire or uh, common wire.
when you connect a wire to a terminal, you see I have the uh, wire going clockwise. You can see the end over here. And the reason for that is when you tightening tightening the screw, you're turning it clockwise, and that uh, holds the end of the wire so it doesn't peel off. If you turn, if you put it the hook counterclockwise as it's tightening, it'll have a tendency to push that wire off of the terminal. So this is the way it should wrap around the screw clockwise direction. Okay, now we hook the ground wire up and our box is about ready. Okay, these tabs aren't needed. Same, these screws aren't needed. This is now going to be held through the center here. Like that. Now this side is hot and when I put this together I'm going to put the hot sides towards each other. If I put the uh, common side there's always the chance of that being too close making contact and shorting out. Okay now to assemble this slide this slot in over there and then just tighten it up. units together. There's the thermal button and what I'm going to do is connect this. I'm going to try it in different locations in the greenhouse. Um, hopefully right on the exhaust fan will be the best spot for it. Well let's connect it up. Test her out. I'm going to zip tie this. This is a temporary fix. This is my exhaust fan. That's my camera. Low battery. Okay, now I'm going to plug this in. And it is running. The thermo switch is working. This was a quick and simple project. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye bye.